the square is about this guy that I play. He's called Christian. He's a, a, a director. He's a curator at a museum. He's, a, he's just about to launch this art exhibition that is called The Square. And The Square is, is about, you know, human basic values, basic human values, like trust and care, that he sort of wants to shine a light on those basic values. And my character is really into, these, into this exhibition, and he's really preoccupied with it. And then, in his personal life, he goes and does something, ex I mean, the exact opposite. So there's a slight clash there. Yeah. I'd say Ruben really guided us all through that because it, I mean, to sort of find the right tone is on, on the day with Ruben, you just do that thing on the day. You're not really thinking about, you know, finding the right tone in terms of how it all should fit together. He's like, he's got a super good idea of, I mean, he's like really clever in what he wants to do. And so he's, very precise in what he wants from each scene so it's just i mean just to sort of go with that i would say he never he talks very little about character or psychology or background i mean he talks a lot more more about so, sociology and his thing is you know working as an actor to stop producing to stop acting to stop wanting to do something specific just be there and just go where the situation sort of takes it that's his thing. So that's actually what, what you do on the day. You just keep at it. And he's well known for his very long takes. And he, and he does, I mean, something like 30, 40, sometimes up to 70 or 80 of those. So it's like just keeping at it and just getting into that quality. So getting the tone right for it is actually something that it was just a question of sort of relying on him, I would say. Yeah. I don't really see myself as an interpreter. I'm, I sort of more see myself as a piano or a violin or something that the that the director can, I mean, just pull any kind of music out of. So I, I more sort of see myself as someone who's putting myself at the disposal of the director and the story. I, I don't sort of have this ambition that we have to do this or that. I like to sort of try and see if I can be as open to where it all wants to go. Um, and obviously, there are things that I, where I'll say, wouldn't it be super cool if we did this or that? I mean, but it's not, um, I don't think I would ever say, well, I, if we're not going to do the character like this, I can't do it or something. I mean, I will always try and sort of go with where they want to go. Because, I mean, in that sense, I am just a tool. These are all very sort of situations that, I mean, you can relate to it. And I think that was important for us to sort of make sure that you can actually relate to the guy and, and that he's likeable because you can't sit through a two and a half hour movie and if, if you don't sort of sympathise with even if he's like a moron and he does really stupid stuff you need to sort of still sympathise with him or em I mean there has to be an empathy there and I think that, has, that we've succeeded in sort of you know with all these different scenes you can actually you can actually find yourself in them and you can always you'll always ask yourself oh my god what would I have done in that situation I think that's why it's sort of it's really engaging because it, I mean almost every scene does that to you where you're like what what what, what are we going to do now yeah.